Hello mga kaguro, this is Sir Jerry, your partner and guide in troubleshooting and working out with your documents. In this video, I will show you how to recover corrupted files in your USB drive or pen drive. This video aims to help recover corrupted files and delete the virus in USB drive. As a teacher, I understand that USB is very important to our work, most especially in saving our data and other documents. USB is also one of the most common storage device that we have, and that is why we need to make sure that it is safe and virus-free to protect our files and documents. So, mga kaguro, how do we protect our USB from getting infected with the virus? First, don't insert it to public computer device like an internet cafe or piso net because it's not safe there. And second thing, don't insert it to others PC or laptop, most especially to some PC or laptop that doesn't have antivirus. And then, keep your USB virus-free by scanning it regularly with license antivirus. Now mga kaguro, please watch and listen carefully because right after this video, I assure you that you can remove the virus in your USB without hassle. So, let's start! Hello mga kaguro, we have here a USB drive na infected po ng isang uh, computer virus dahil when our co-teacher po tries to use and open uh, the documents inside of this USB drive po, um, it's not possible for her anymore po to open the document because uh, na shortcut na po yung mga documents niya and then uh, some of the files were also hidden and inaccessible na po yung mga files niya dahil sa computer virus na nag-hide po ng mga files and document inside of this one. And then, ang kinakatakot niya po kasi uh, baka ma-infect din po yung uh, laptop niya and then it will be hard for her po to use uh, her laptop because kung ma-infect po, wala na po siyang uh, ibang alternatives or wala na po siyang ibang electronic device na pwedeng gamitin in working with her documents po. So, uh, sobrang alala talaga yung co-teacher natin on how to retrieve the files inside of this because according to her po, there are some important files and document uh, present on this or on it na hindi niya po na i-backup sa iba't ibang USB drive or hindi niya po na i-backup sa kanyang laptop. So, it's very dangerous po talaga kapag hindi na-remove yung computer virus na nandito kasi it will cause infection to some electronic devices na posibleng ma-insert ang infected USB na ito at posibleng mag-spread yung virus from uh, other electronic devices and that will also corrupt uh, the important files that you have. Good for you po if you have a reliable antivirus kapag yung vi antivirus nyo po ay uh, hindi pa po expire at, at kung yung antivirus nyo po ay working talaga uh, reliable talaga and it's licensed po because it has a uh, way to remove the virus inside of this but um, if you don't have antivirus with you and if you don't know how to recover the files inside we still can use our um, system application here installed in our laptop or PC which is called CMD or command prompt po. so Ipapakita ko po sa inyo mamaya on how to use the CMD or a command prompt in our laptop or PC. And for us to remove the virus again, let's insert this one to our PC or laptop. So here I have PC po. 
I need to insert this one to my PC. And then after you have inserted it in your PC, okay, I have a antivirus po, and then my antivirus will try to scan the malware inside, okay. And then I can choose here kung ano po yung gagawin ko if I have to fix and I have to scan all. So, let's check this uh, mga kaguro and I will show you how to recover some of the files inside. So, please continue to watch mga kaguro. If you're going to check mga kaguro, I have here uh, Antivirus 360 Total Security at na-scan niya po automatically yung uh, USB drive natin which is in drive D and then it shows here that I have uh, documents infected with malware just like in my uh, the modules of my co-teacher here uh, the documents were also infected and there are hidden files na hinayad po ng awarimi ng virus so we have to fix all Okay, we have to click fix and scan on. Okay, and then the antivirus port will try to scan and fix and remove the malwares inside. But we are going to run again another test to remove totally the virus and recover our files. We can go ahead and click here in our search bar and then type cmd which is the command prompt okay and then kapag nakita nyo po yung cmd in your laptop or pc just hit right click okay and then run as administrator and then click yes lang po so according to our antivirus wala na pong threats or successfully na remove na po yung virus dito so ang gagawin natin is to recover the files okay and then let's open our file manager po then go to this pc don't open this one because um if you're going to open the usb drive there might be a chance na mag spread po yung virus na nandito sa loob and will start to infect and will run also in the background of your pc or laptop and then Mata transfer po yung virus sa laptop or PC ninyo. Yung gagawin lang po natin is to check here if what is the the letter that stands with this USB drive. Okay. So it shows here that it has uh, letter D. Okay. And then we have to click in our command prompt and then type the letter D and then colon and then enter lang po okay so it means that uh, we can go ahead and recover our files in drive d okay kasi nasa d po yung usb drive natin okay so all we have to do po is to um type attrib a t as in tango t r i b and then space po dash h space dash r space dash s space backward slash and then d space backward slash and then s space asterisk period and then asterisk and then hit enter lang po Okay, tapos na po siya. And then, all we have to do here is to type del, a shortcut for delete, auto run. Dot inf. And then hit enter. Okay, it says here that could not find auto run dot inf. Let's type again del, space, type auto run, dot ink. Because those were the, the extension name of virus po. The autorun that I came. Okay. And then hit enter. It shows that could not find that uh, virus anymore. Kasi po, niscan na po siya ng ating antivirus dito. Alright. Let's check here in our files. 
Okay, so ito na po yung files natin. It shows here that 360 quarantine folder, we have to delete that one po. And then meron tayong dito uh, Windows batch file na kailangan din nating i-delete. First, we need to copy the important files we have and then transfer it to our PC or laptop. Okay, kagaya po nito, this shortcut files is very malicious to me and new to me. And then this folder with 598, hindi po ito before nandito sa USB drive na to. I believe it was caused by the virus that infects the USB drive. Yung files lang po na, na, na kailangan natin ay yung original files before it was infected by the virus. So we have to cut this one. And then gagawa tayo ng folder here. Click the new folder. And then let's type files. Okay. Files and then okay. Enter. Open. And then paste here. Uh, the files that we have from our USB drive. Okay, after po nating makuha yung mga files dito, uh, we have to format this one. Okay, format po natin ito. So, ito po ay yung original files natin. We have to cut and paste po dito sa folder na nandito sa desktop natin. Okay, uh, just follow lang po. Just copy or paste and or just cut uh, the documents in your USB drive going to your desktop. Here po, if you can see, there has a dollar sign here. There are two files po na dollar sign yung nasa unahan at parang may, may arrow siya or something like that. We have to remove or delete this po because it will not going to open because this is a file na gawa po ng virus po or infected ng virus po. Because if you're going to see here, the size is 1 KB and it's not possible for you to open this. So we have to delete this one. Okay. And then check here if the file size is in normal size. Po. Okay. And then we are going to copy this recordings folder or cut and then paste here in our folder in desktop. Okay. Kung babalikan po natin, wala na po yung uh, wala na po tayong naiiwang files dito so we have to format this um, USB drive okay all we have to do is to click or right click and then click format ipo-format natin po para mas kampante po tayo sa paggamit ng USB drive na to dahil madidelete po yung mga virus or other um, files po na ginawa or kin kin created by the virus po. So in our USB drive, just right click and then hit format and then click start and then click OK. Lang. Drive is in use. So yes, I have to format it. Okay. And then it shows po format complete. Then click OK. Close. Okay. If we're going to open po, wala na po yung uh, quarantined um, files and folders created by my antivirus. So empty na po. And gagawin natin is to Copy the files here in or cut the files here in our desktop and then put it back again po dito sa ating USB drive. And then paste lang po natin. Uh, if you don't have antivirus like this po, it's okay. Just follow the same procedure lang po. Because um, that will also be the most important procedure lang po yung gagawin natin. Uh, if we are successfully inserted our USB in our laptop or PC, don't 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 directly open this USB drive. Just click only here in this PC and then just check only the letter that stands for the name of our um, USB drive. And then it shows here D. Okay, and then if we're going to review again, let's open our command prompt. Run as administrator. Type the letter D. Okay, and then the colon. And then, enter. Makikita nyo na po na you have successfully changed your uh, directory uh, name to your D drive. Kasi yung uh, letter na mauuna or makikita nyo sa unahan ay yung letter na ng USB drive na kailangan nyo i-format at i-recover yung files. Okay, if you're going to check here po, uh, we have type attrib. 
a t t r i b space dash h space dash r space dash s space backward slash d space backward slash s space asterisk period and asterisk and then we hit enter then po and then don't forget to type del or delete space autoran.inf or del space autoran.ink po because that's the way we can remove the the virus and that runs at the background or every time we open our usb drive okay and then we have successfully transferred the files from usb to our desktop and then we have uh, format or we have done formatting our usb drive and put back the files on it if you're going to check here uh, wala na po yung mga files na na create po ng virus so let's eject this one right click and then click eject and then just click continue lang po let's check here again if our antivirus will going to detect something here in our usb drive i hope wala na po kasi na clean na po natin yung usb drive na ito so i have insert this one okay and then my antivirus will scan uh the the USB drive and then it shows check or it means it was successfully scanned at wala pong naging warning sign dito it means wala na po yung virus na nandito sa ating um, USB drive and then let's open a folder this PC and then open our drive so malinis po wala na po yung virus dito okay let's um, eject this one it means that this USB drive is now working and safe from virus so na recover na rin po natin yung files na nandito no worries na po yung co-teacher natin na uh, nagpadala ng usb drive na ito all right mga kaguro i hope that uh, when this kind of situation will happen to you you know already what to do how to remove the virus in your usb drive and then um you can also try to help some other people and even your co-teacher po na nagkaroon ng USB drive na infected ng uh, virus po. So, for you to get rid of this kind of situation, just download po a reliable antivirus. Dapat meron po kayong antivirus sa PC or laptop ninyo. And then, don't try to insert this again to some other PC or laptop na infected na ng virus. Especially those computer devices um present in internet cafe or peso net kasi hindi po talaga safe yung mga devices doon kasi maraming taong gumagamit doon at maraming nag uh, i-insert ng mga storage devices nila na hindi natin alam na also of infected din pala ng virus all right again mga kaguro this is sir jory nagpapaalala na don't think your problem is a burden but rather think your problem as a challenge have a great day. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share. God bless you mga kaguro.